so basically just tell us about you know what your most vivid memorable moments are from the day that the storm hit for me it was definitely waking up and hearing the news say category five have fine has just made landfall i would wake up and i move the curtains away from the door to look and all i see is the treetops shaking back and forth and as soon as that biggest tree, like the biggest tree in the yard fell, I was like, we got to get out of here. And me and my brother opened the door. And me and my grandma were going to run to the next door neighbors because they had a brick house in the open where no trees would fall. And as soon as we did, I got him inside and I turned around and my grandma wasn't there. So I had to run back to make sure she was there. She's grabbing stuff. I told her to put stuff down, put it in a safe spot where you think it wouldn't get damaged and we can get it after the storm. And I had to like pick her up and help her over the thorns and stuff. And when we finally got over it, it looked like I just got out the shower. Like I was soaking. And how bad was the house damage that you were in? Well, like as soon as the biggest tree fell, it spit, it split this po pole barn that we saw in half, straight in half. But that's when I said, we gotta get out of here. As soon as we shut the door and our neighbors, three trees fell on the house we were just in. So how would you, how is life different for you today than it was before the It's storm? definitely more of a struggle. We still ain't got power, like we're running off extension cords and we still got to connect the power to the power lines and everything. I live in the shed because there's not room in the house. Half of it's uh, like condemned or something. It's not livable. Then the other half, there's a room for my parents, and then Micah, he sleeps on his own little bed. And I just have to sleep separate because there's just not any room.